Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to tell you about a brand new product release from Olight and the flash sale they're having on the 3rd. And the new product is the Olight Seeker 2 Pro. Alright everybody, welcome back. I want to share this with you today, this sale. They're having a flash sale, Olight is, on the brand new Seeker 2 Pro. This is what it looks like. I'll give you a quick close-up of it, let you know what, what you're looking at. And the cool part about this is, is this features a lot of designs that have not been in any other Olight before. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you what's in the box. And that's fairly simple. Of course, you get the Olight. And of course, when you're getting a new Olight, always remember to take the plastic cap off of the battery. They ship with a cap there so they don't activate while in shipping. Now, next up, we have the box. You will get a nice case. This is a very nice carrying case. This comes in it, actually. The light comes in this case. Very nice carrying case. Nice belt loop. Very well made. Interesting kind of push button here. You push down to open it, and it's kind of like a little button there that you'll snap together. All right, next up, you have the pieces on the side here. I'm going to open this up for you. This is your charger and your cleaning cloth. And it's got a nice long cable here, and that will come into play in a little bit because this is the first innovative design that I've not seen in any other flashlight that I've reviewed. I'm sure, other flashlights may have something like it, but not like this. This is the LDOC. This is a convenient way for you to charge your flashlights, and we'll get into the ones that does charge. It allows you to hang this on the wall and charge your flashlight right from there. So, let me clean up this mess here. And we'll get on to the features of the flashlight itself. Now, a little about the flashlight. The Seeker 2 Pro is a powerful rechargeable side switch LED flashlight. It's powered by a single maximum capacity 5,000 milliamp custom 21700 lithium battery. This is a rechargeable battery. It delivers a maximum output of 3,200 lumens. It uses high quality LEDs paired with a tear optic lens providing a perfect large, medium, and uh, close-up illumination experience. I really like it from large, long distances away. This thing is an unbelievable beam of light. <laughs> and we'll show you a little bit outside in a little bit. Okay? The uh, battery power is displayed, as well as the brightness levels, on the flashlight itself. This is a really neat feature. Let me turn it on for you. You can see on the right is the battery power. And on the left, is your brightness level. So if I click that again, it'll go up to full, see, all the way full. And as you click it, you can hold your way through the modes. There's your second brightest, third brightest, and turbo. So, very handy to have your green LEDs on the right side for your battery level and on the left side for your brightness level. Now it's 3.9 inches long. It's got a 1 amp magnetic USB cable which I showed you over here. And this can be used just like a charging cable. You don't need to install the LDOC. However, the LDOC adds a nice level of functionality to it. The, the uh, charger will also charge all of the compatible Olights, the S, M, and H series. So, let's take a look here with this LDOC. And here is my uh, Warrior X, all right? It'll charge that as well. So there is a reason for picking up two of these, and I'll tell you about that in a minute, too. The provided LDOC can be attached to, affixed to a wall, anywhere close by where there's some power. It's compatible with most USB sources, and the charging cable is convenient to use, and it's got a long enough cable so that you don't have to put it right on top of an outlet. It can be a little distance away. You'll notice there's some double stick tape here. It also comes with some screws and anchors and some extra double stick tape if that wears out. So this is an absolute ideal illumination kit for the home to use outdoors or even while on duty. Um, I would definitely keep, the, I'm going to be keeping this out here and I'll show you where I mount the LDOC. Um, I think the LDOC is just really, really a unique feature and it really is convenient too because you know you don't have to always keep this lying on its side with anything. You just snap it into place. Snap it into the LDOC and you're good to go. So, I am going to install the LDOC. I'm going to let you know a little bit more about the flashlight first, however, 
because the finger grooves on this are really, really nice. This is a dermatoglyphic silicone. I believe that's how you pronounce it. It's got milled finger grooves in it, and the surface has an excellent holding position. So it's nice and soft, yet it's anti-slip. So if you get this wet, this is not going to slip out of your hands. Really, really nice, positive feeling in your hands. Um, I'm right-handed, so I'm using my left hand because the camera's there, but really nice feeling in your hands. Easy to activate. No real headaches with it. So let me install the LDOC really, really quick, and uh, we'll show you what it looks like, and then we'll go into testing the light. All right, so there's the LDOC mounted up there. As you can see, nice and easy way to mount it up. I just have the pegboard up there, put it in where I have the wood behind it that mounts into the wall, and my flashlight's permanently attached and charging whenever I want it to. As I mentioned before, if you want to charge other flashlights with this, here's a Warrior X, and that goes right up on there, no problem. It's up there sturdy. If you need it, you grab it right away. No issues. So that's what the charging dock does. It grows, glows green here when there's nothing charging or when it's full. And once you put it on there, I don't know if you can see it, but it'll turn red. And it will charge until it goes green and then your battery's fully charged. So that's the L dock, and that's one of the neat features of the new Olight. Now let's get to Lumens and Runtime. All right, so we'll start off with Lumens. It's got basically five modes. You have your 3200 Lumens, which steps down after two minutes to a 600 lumen. You have a 1200 lumen, which steps down after five minutes to 600 lumens. 300 lumens, 50 lumens, and your moonlight mode, which is five lumens. Very, very cool. Now, it will do for two minutes, two minutes with the high, and then it drops down for 150 minutes to the 600. You've got 110 minutes on 1200 lumens, and then it drops down for 30 minutes on the 600. At 300 lumens, it'll run for 9.5 hours. Now, I remember when 300 lumens was a bright flashlight. This thing will run for 9 hours on it. At 50 lumens, 50 hours. And at the lowest, the 5 lumens, that's 5 days. And it has a beam on the 3200 lumen um, setting 250 meters wide. So we are going to go outside, and we're going to test that out. It's nice and dark out there, and I'm going to see if I can stand in front of the camera and give you a view of how far out the light goes. All right, so I figure it's dark enough for me to do a good test on the front of my house with this. Um, we're gonna start this test off with this. And I have that on second to high. That is the high mode. That's all four dots. 3,200 lumens. All right. Now let's take it to somewhere Now if else. I told you you're looking at the start of a house over there, you probably wouldn't believe me. But we're going to turn on the light and shine it over there. And you can probably, I don't know if my camera is going to let you pick it out, but you can see there's a house over there. And you can see how bright this light really is. That is just amazing. I'm going to walk out here in front of the camera and do a little walk with it. All right, we're going to try one more test before we finish to give you an idea of the brightness of this. Now, light. I'm going to use this just like I'd use it, say, coming up onto a house, wanting to know what's going on. As you can tell, it's got a little bit darker since I've been out here. And I'm going to shine this on the front of my house. I'm going to put it on the, the four dots, so that's the uh, 1,200 lumens. And now, there's the full turbo mode. And I want to swing it around a little bit so you can see my garden, my uh, garden, not my garden, my front yard. See just how bright that really is. So there you go. That's our test of it outside. Hope you enjoyed it. Let's bring it back inside and we'll finish up. All right, so that is the beam from that light. You got to see it. That's the Olight Seeker 2. I will put a link down below where you can get in on the deal. Um, I did a little bit of the, you know, from a distance with me walking around with the light. And then I did the usual static shot. So you can see how far the beam goes out. That is one bright flashlight. And uh, I'm definitely going to hang on to that one. I really like that. I like the indicator for the level and the battery power. It's right there, right in front. You can't miss it. Um, there is one more deal, though, that I wanted to let you know about. Along with the flash sale... Olight loves to do these kind of bonuses. If you spend over $169, you can get a free M1T Raider Plus. 
That's this little guy right here. They've made the low mode three times brighter on it, 15 lumens instead of five. They've added a higher lumens on high from 500 to 800, and they've added the strobe option on this. So it's much improved from the previous version. All you gotta do is spend $169 and you get this free, that could be that, and maybe a couple of the lights you wanted, or some extra charges, or the bundle, and maybe another L bracket, whatever. Um, you can definitely get in on that deal and grab one of these. What I like about this one is the nice grip. You know, it's got that dense double helix body pattern on it. So it really, really fits in your hand well, and it holds well, but it doesn't feel aggressive in your hand. So it's definitely great for all, dear, all day, um, everyday carry. It's got the tear optic in the front there. Nice, soft, balanced beam which is great for reading. You know, one of the things I like about this is you can get the low beam on, but it's got that nice soft beam around the edges, so you get a little bit of that spill light, and it works very, very well. It's a comfortable tail switch on the end there. Um, I'm old school. I really do love the rubber tail switches, but I'm learning to like these buttons, but I really like these. I like that. That's very cool. Very simple user interface. You control the mode by changing from 800 to 15 lumens. Really simple. A momentary on. You can do the momentary or the constant on off whoops and that's simple so all you gotta do is spend hundred and sixty nine dollars or more you not only get the deal on this or maybe the bundle if you want a couple extra charging brackets but you also get one of these but you gotta spend more than hundred sixty nine dollars and Olight easily can make you do that because <laughs> they got some really nice flashlights anyway folks I hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching don't forget to check out the sale. Like I said, I'll put the link down below to a white store. You can go pick one up. You can go see what they look like. Check them out. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to share. Click like or subscribe if you like the content. And don't forget to check out our Amazon store down below. If you want to go shopping in there, just click the link. If there's nothing in the store you like, click the link to shop as you normally would. It doesn't cost you a penny to do, and it really helps out the channel. And don't forget to check out our Thrive Life link if you're interested in starting out on some freeze-dried food storage, which I think is a great idea for new preppers. Easy way to set it and forget it. You buy something that's good for 25 years. So anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Stay safe and stay prepared.